Today I'm coming at you with a video that I think will be very useful because I've been getting so many questions on Instagram about these two handbags in particular. I mean, you guys can probably tell which ones I'm gonna be talking about by the title, but let's jump right in. The two handbags in questions I'm gonna be talking about is the Gucci Marmont in the velvet and the mini size and the Dionysus also in the mini size. So I purchased this handbag, I believe back in March and I purchased this handbag in early September. I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a comparison between the two in terms of sizes, in terms of what it can carry, and in terms of a bit of my opinion of where I stand with these two bags. The most often question I get on Instagram when I carry either of these two handbags is um, which do you prefer, the Dionysus or the Marmol? So I'll answer that, okay, let me just put these down because they're getting a little heavy. This one's like full from the day. So, for me, to be quite honest, I'm, I'm, a, I'm never one to be just like, just buy both. But they're not really comparable handbags. In terms of size, in terms of what they can carry, they can carry the exact same thing. They are both handbags that can be carried um, either doubled up or singled. They can be worn crossbody, both of them. Basically, I can get how on paper they are too similar to justify both. Today, I figure I'll give you guys my opinion on both and you guys can either be the judge of which one you want and or if you want both. Because to be quite honest, I'm gonna start off this video by saying I want both. So let's start off with the Marmol. The Marmol in terms of price point, actually when I bought these bags, they were pretty much the same price. They came up to with taxes and everything, roughly about $1,700 Canadian. Both of them were purchased directly from Gucci at the whole rent through in Montreal. And yeah, so price point wise, they're pretty much the same in terms of price points. Let's do a size comparison. So from the sides, you can see that the Dionysus is taller. In terms of width, the Dionysus stretches out a little bit wider. It's filled to the brim right now. I had all my stuff in it um, for the day today. The Dionysus is a little taller, but the Marmont is longer. So what you lose in width, you gain in length with this handbag. So like I honestly, these two handbags for me fit the identical amount of stuff. And for me, these are two bags that I can use on the daily for what they fit. I am not a big bag girl. I am definitely a small bag girl. And I'll link a what's in my bag below just so you can see what I carry on a daily. Everything I carry on the daily fits in both of these handbags. This for me is more of a day bag. I find that the Dionysus with the kind of like brushed, more like rugged silver hardware. To me, this is really a day bag. I agree that the flap here is something that it dresses it up a little bit, but for me, the Gigi Monogram canvas mixed with the lighter suede detailing, this for me really is a fancier day bag. And this for me is a bag that I can carry during the day, but I can also carry at night. So if you're looking for a bag that can cross both, I honestly feel this is more the bag that you're looking for. The velvet is definitely a bit fancier. The hardware being gold for me screams more evening than the silver hardware. The hardware on here is just completely, I don't know, it screams fancy a little bit, I don't know. I just think that this bag can be day and night and I feel like this bag is more just of a day bag. In terms of durability, a lot of people are concerned about the suede on this one and a lot of people are concerned about the velvet on this one. So I will start about with the Dionysus, the suede on this one, the only part that I've noticed that has somewhere is this right here and it's at the closure. So anybody who gets this handbag will inevitably get this like little dent here. I think it actually was like that when I bought it. Um, in terms of everything else, the suede, it is suede lined on like around like this. The suede lining is still mint condition and as it is in the front pocket here. So for me, this handbag has been very, very durable. It hasn't gotten dirty or anything. The bottom, I'm not someone who will put my handbag on the floor. I'm definitely careful as to how I treat my handbags. But as you can see, I stuff it really, really full. So it does stretch a little bit. So the suede, what's great about the suede is it does allow to overfill this handbag, which I kind of love. So. The suede on this has held up great. And I mean canvas, you guys know, you never need to worry about canvas. Canvas always holds up great. The uh, one thing that I will mention, I've mentioned this in several of my 
Gucci videos where I've talked about this and I think I've mentioned it um, on other social media platforms, the chain on top twists constantly. And it's not like the boy bag where you can just like switch your chain around. It really, it, it's a pain in the ass to untwist this chain. You have to open the handbag like this, lay it flat and try and twist the chain. When you feel like the chain's about to break, that's usually when it's about to just twist back. So that has been something that I do find a little bit annoying. I feel like Gucci should have thought about that. I mean, especially that the boy bag has the exact same chain and it's not as locked in place as this. There is room for the chain to just kind of twist around on the boy bag. So in terms of the durability and my thoughts on the overall construction and quality, this is it with this one. The Marmo. So many people were telling me like, why did you buy velvet? Oh my God, your bag is gonna look like shit. It's not gonna wear well, it's gonna bald. I have no problem, I, you probably can't see um, on the video, but this velvet is mint condition. I wear this handbag, long shoulder strap, rubbing against denim. There has been no peeling of the velvet at all. I know that Chanel does have a few problems with their velvet. I haven't had problems at all with this bag. The corners still look great. The only thing that I can say with velvet is that you kind of catch fluffs and lints. That's really the only thing. But in terms of the quality of the velvet, I have had zero issues whatsoever. I have heard some people mention something about their hardware peeling. I haven't had, here. There is my hardware close up. It is still mint condition. There is zero peeling. The only thing that I don't like about this handbag in terms of the how it's made is the inside. I like that they did a pink lining, but I find it kind of looks a bit cheap. It's kind of like shiny and a little magician-y. I wasn't really feeling it. I don't, I, I don't know, but that's just me. Um, I mean, it's not really important. You don't really see it. Um, the leather here doesn't scratch at all, even though it is kind of like a smoother leather. And this bag really just held up really nice. I wear this bag all the time and I, sh I, I stuff this bag so much. The piping on the strap, this part here, it still looks perfect. And yeah, no, so in terms of constructions with this one, you're good to go with velvet if you're into it. I love, 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 love this handbag. In terms of trend factor, let's get on that one. I get asked a lot about the Dionysus. Do you think this is a trendy bag? Do you think this is something that's gonna, be, that's gonna play the test of time? Do you think it's gonna last the test of time? What are your thoughts in terms of trend and this bag and longevity? So at first, when I originally convinced this was gonna be a trendy piece and I was gonna have it in my closet for a few months and then once I was over it, I would just sell it and move on to something new. Now that I've had this handbag since March, we are now October, so April, May, June, July, August, September, October, seven months later, I even if this bag is a trend, I don't really care. I find this bag far too practical and far too beautiful to just call it a trend and move on from it. This handbag to me is something that I feel like is a new normal for Gucci. I love the hardware here on the kind of horse bit. The canvas is, it's gg but it's not obnoxious. Everything about this bag, the silver hardware of it, the size of it, this bag, if it does end up turning into a trend, it will be one of my favorite trends. I originally thought the boy bag was gonna be one of those trendy bags that I was gonna get over and lo and behold, I went on a mission trying to get another one. I feel like kind of this is kind of Gucci's version of the boy bag. This bag to me, if it is a trend, mark my words, I don't care, it's too good to you. It's too good to just leave up to a trend. Next off, trend with the Gucci Marmot. I definitely think this handbag is a little bit trendy, but I do think it's still very early. I got this bag in early September and I think I, I hadn't seen anybody that I followed on Instagram with the velvet version of this bag. I had originally wanted it like in a pink. I put it on my wish list and then I saw a few people pull it up in pink and I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna go black velvet. And then I started seeing a bunch of people getting the black velvet. And I do think that maybe this is a bit of a trendier piece, but because of its um, evening wear possibilities, I feel like it kind of counterbalances that even if it does become something trendy during the day, I feel like this bag could still be used as an evening bag. So I don't know, this bag to me is definitely trendier than the Dionysus, 
but I do still think the longevity, especially since it's literally just, just coming out of the market now, I definitely feel that this bag has a, a solid year left in it if it is something that is a trend. So with that being said, that is my comparison between the two. Let me know below which bag you want to get if you are interested in getting either of these Gucci's, um, the Marmot or the Dionysus. As you guys can see, I love both equally and I wasn't able to pick so I ended up with both. But I know for those of you out there, you've been asking me, so let me know which one you've decided on. I can't wait to hear which ones you guys have decided to go with, and I don't think I have anything else to say besides I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! With the kind of like brushed, more like rugged silver hardware, to me this is really a day bag. I agree that the flap here is something that it dresses it up a little bit, but for me the Gigi Monogram canvas mixed with the lighter suede detailing this for me really is a fancier day bag and this for me is a bag that I can carry during the day but I can also carry at night so if you're looking for a bag that can cross both I honestly feel this is more the bag that you're looking for the velvet is definitely a bit fancier the hardware being gold for me screams more evening than the silver hardware the hardware on here is just completely I don't know it's most often question I get on Instagram when I carry either of these two handbags is um, which do you prefer the Dionysus or the Marmol so I'll answer that okay let me just put these down because they're getting a little heavy this one's like full from the day so for me, to be quite honest, I'm, I'm, a, I'm never one to be just like, just buy both. But they're not really comparable handbags. In terms of size, in terms of what they can carry, they can carry the exact same thing. They are both handbags that can be carried um, either doubled up or singled. They can be worn crossbody, both of them. Basically, I can get how on paper they are too similar to justify both. Today, I figure I'll give you guys my opinion on both and you guys can either be the judge of which one you want and or if you want both. Because to be quite honest, I'm going to start off this video by saying I want both. So let's start off with the Marmol. The Marmol in terms of price point, actually when I bought these bags they were pretty much the same price. They came up to with taxes and everything roughly about $1,700 Canadian. Both of them were purchased directly from Gucci at the whole rent through in Montreal. And yeah, so price point wise they're pretty much the same in terms of price points. Let's do a size comparison. So from the sides, you can see that the Dionysus is taller. In terms of width, the Dionysus stretches out a little bit wider. Hey guys, today I'm coming at you with a video that I think will be very useful because I've been getting so many questions on Instagram about these two handbags in particular. I mean, you guys can probably tell which ones I'm going to be talking about by the title, but let's jump right in. The two handbags and questions I'm going to be talking about is the Gucci Marmol in the velvet in the mini size and the Dionysus also in the mini size. So I purchased this handbag I believe back in March and I purchased this handbag in early September. I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a comparison between the two in terms of sizes, in terms of what it can carry, and in terms of a bit of my opinion of where I stand with these two bags. The most wider, it's filled to the brim right now, I had all my stuff in it um, for the day today. The Dionysus is a little taller, but the Marmont is longer. So what you lose in width, you gain in length with this handbag. So like I honestly, these two handbags for me fit the identical amount of stuff. And for me, these are two bags that I can use on the daily for what they fit. I am not a big bag girl. I am definitely a small bag girl. And I'll link a what's in my bag below just so you can see what I carry on a daily. Everything I carry on the daily fits in both of these handbags. This for me is more of a day bag. I find that the Dionysus 